How you doing? I used to be Jimmy Falcone, a big shot in the Gambini crime syndicate. But I ratted out my friends, so my family and I had to go into witness protection. The thing about witness protection is, you can't just start off being witnessly protected. You gotta learn to be a whole other person. And that ain't easy. So remember, you're no longer the Falcones, you're the McDougals. What's your name? Jimmy Falcone. No, your fake name. Oh, my fake name is Tommy McDougal. Don't say my fake name. I don't know your fake name. We'll come back to you. Now, Debbie, would you please get me a glass of water? Debbie, would you please get me a glass of water? Gina, your new name is Debbie. I know that, but get your own freaking water. Come on, people, you're moving in two weeks. One slip up and your cover will be blown. When do I get my nose job? There is no nose job. Boob job? No boob job. Hand job? There are no jobs! I thought you said I have to get a job. Yes, you have to get a job, Tommy. Who's Tommy? You're Tommy. I killed a Tommy once. Nice guy. Ah! And that was when they decided we should stick with our real first names. And then they shipped us off to Vagina... Regina. Saskatchewan. But if any of you think changing our name is gonna change the Falcons, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the Gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob on once him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped him, they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Thanks for picking me up, Cook. No problem. But do you think tomorrow you could take the bus? I gotta take the kids to the doctor. You ever been on a bus? They smell, they're filled with derelicts and slobs and people filled with disease. Let the kids take the bus. Oh my god, Jimmy! Snake Hammer! They're playing tonight in Saskatoon! You know they've always been my favorite band! My sister and I never missed a single Snake Hammer concert. These guys do one show in ten years and where do they go? Saskatoon, Saskatoon, everybody loves Saskatoon! Oh my god, she's gonna be there! My sister's gonna be in Saskatoon tonight! Snake Hammer, grab it by the handle! Snake Hammer, put it in your toolbox! I'm gonna break out my leather pants and my hammer halter! And best of all, I'm gonna see Rosalie! Jimmy, we're going to Saskatoon! Like hell I am. What are you talking about? I could see my sister! This might be my only chance to ever see her again. But baby, it's Saskatoon. I'm a vagina guy. How could I go to work and look the other fellas in the eye? Oh, they wouldn't know. I'd know. Fine, don't do me any favors. I'll go myself. Then who will make dinner? Well, I wouldn't kill you to miss a meal, you fat <laughs> Jimmy, Cookie, we'll have none of that public cussing. Your outdoor arguments are bringing too much attention, and you risk exposing yourself. I will if you will. <laughs> oh, here she goes. Don't take her seriously, McCool. She's just trying to piss me off. And it's working! Will you two stop? This kind of behavior is not Canadian. We are a polite people who keep our true feelings bottled up. If we must express ourselves, we do it with silent resentment, flowering looks, and suppressed rage, all the while maintaining a delicate balance of denial and shame. That's the Canadian way. Do you think you can do that? You take denial, I got shame. Splendid, my work day is done. Oh, is that a Cuban? Mr. Goody Two-Shoes smoking illegal cigars. Nothing illegal about it. The government of Canada does not maintain antiquated foreign policies. And our beer tastes better too. For Canada, proud to be shameful. Hey, Petey, how about a little Grand Theft Auto? Gina, I'm studying. I don't have time for a video game. Who said anything about a video game? <laughs> You're so funny, Gina. Funny? Funny how? You mean the way I talk? What's funny about it? Funny like I'm a clown? I amuse you? I make you laugh? I'm here to f and amuse you? What do you mean, funny? How the f am I funny? Yeah, like a clown. <laughs> now that's funny. 
You don't even know for sure that your sister will be there. I do know for sure. And if you'd taken the time to get to know my sister, you'd know she never misses a snake hammer show. But you didn't take time to get to know my sister because you didn't take the time to get to know me. Because you don't pay attention. I do so pay attention. Cheech, you're not going to believe what I found out about Canada. You can legally buy Cubans here. I know. I got a closet full of them. Mambo! 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 Please, senor, let us see. Wow! You can buy anything in Canada. Me and Cheech are going to the cigar store. Tell your mother we'll be back in 20. Hospital. Ah, this is the life. Sure is. Makes you wonder, why can't you get these in the States anyway? Beats me. Cuba has a lot to offer. Cigars, baseball players, Gooding Jr. I would like to go to Cuba one day and say, why did you make that gay boat movie? No, that was Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't want to argue politics with you. Let's just enjoy our smokes. All right, bye everyone. I'm off to see Aunt Rosalie. See you in the morning. Hammer the snake! Where's the car? Jimmy! Petey, where's your father? I like eggs. We meet again, old friend. Where the hell is he? That stupid, selfish jackass! I'm gonna kill him. This is Jimmy. I'm trapped inside my phone. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm just busting your balls. I can't believe you! You took the car when you knew how important this was to me! I may miss my sister if you don't get home soon, so you better call me the second you get this, you stupid, selfish f***! Gee! <laughs> hey, that was great, Jimmy. Great smokes, great booze, great conversation. We ought to spend more time together. Cheech, I'm with you all the time. Wait, that was you? Keep an eye open. I gotta take a leak. Hang on, I gotta go more. Look, I don't wanna get into some kind of pissing contest with you. Why? Because I can pee farther? Is that a challenge? You're on. Okay, we'll call it a draw. I'm gonna kill him. I am so gonna kill him. No, no, I'm gonna almost kill him. Then let him heal, then I'll kill him. No, then I'll almost kill him. Cuba Gooding Jr. was in Boys in the Hood with Lawrence Fishburne, who was in Apocalypse Now with Dennis Hopper. You inconsiderate child! Cookie, please! I'm in the middle of a game here. You took the car! My only chance to see my sister, and you took the freaking car! Oh, man, the concert. Cook, I'm sorry. You're always sorry. What good does that do me? You never listen. You only care about yourself. No, I'm caring about you now. See, here I am standing and talking about caring. If that ain't caring... Stop it! My sister's gone, the concert's over, and so are we. You no longer live here. Fine! I'll sleep in the car! Where'd I put it? Where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? How'd I get into this mess? I've never seen her this angry before. I mean, we've had some big fights, but I've never had to talk to myself for this long. I wonder if that's the same RCMP Special Agent Straight McCool that I know. Jimmy, what are you doing here at this hour? Cookie threw me out and it's my own damn fault. I have nowhere to go. Oh my goodness, come in! You'll catch your death! Wow! This is the coolest place in the world! It's like Caesar's Palace meets Old Yeller! Precisely what I told my decorator, Jimmy. Have a seat. Thanks for letting me crash here. My pleasure. Now, let's go over the rules. Rule number one, no feet on the table. Rule number two, no smoking. Rule number three, no littering. No writing on foggy windows, no usage of the word irregardless. Brush after every meal, lights out at 10.50, and no masturbating where I can hear it. Cheese and whiskers, it's like Toronto Union Station around here. Jimmy, Cookie wanted me to give you a message. 
Uh, I want to make sure I get this right. And take your f***ing uncle with you. What? I'm sorry, Cook. I screwed up. I don't know what's wrong with me. You deserve better and I'll try harder. I'm tired of your apologies, Jimmy. This may have been the only chance to ever see my sister again in my life. I don't see how I'll ever be able to forgive you. I can't even forgive myself I'm such a jerk. There you go. Me, me, me. I'm a jerk. I'm an idiot. I'm an asshole. All you think about is yourself. So go lead your selfish life without me. <sighs> what about my clothes? And my piano? And my safe? And my anvil? And my father? Ow! I'm telling you, I've never seen her like this. This was beyond anger. She didn't yell once. It was terrifying. You know what, Jimmy? I got lady troubles too. Mine is a real ball buster. Nothing I do is ever good enough, and one of these days, I'm just gonna go up to her and say, I won't take this anymore, Mom! You know what, kid? Today's your lucky day. I got me a little cabin in the suburbs. Come on by and we'll commiserate. Commiserate loves company. Schwa, schwa, schwa. <laughs> Women, schwa, 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 slut. <laughs> schwa, schwa. <laughs> Lonely. There, there, schwa, schwa. You know, me and Cheech, we got a little cabin. You know, Premier, we got a little cabin. Little cabin. Schwa, schwa. Schwa. My Premier, I didn't even vote for you. Then the joke's on me. I didn't think you were old enough to vote. Chug, 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 chug. Be at peace. If you can't enjoy how it goes down, you'll never like how it comes back up. Man, I never thought they'd all show up. I was just being polite. Hey, Jimmy, isn't that the guy you whacked because he figured out who you were? Hey, yeah, I hate when they come back. Hello, Jimmy. And you must be Uncle Cheech. We then, hey, listen, I gotta ask you something. I'm not sure how to put this, but didn't I kill you? Actually, that was my robot double. And I'm glad you whacked him, because I think he was trying to kill me. What? You have robots? Of course, Jimmy. I'm a master inventor. I wouldn't be nearly as wealthy as I am if I didn't have an army of robots working to undermine my competitors. But I've said too much. What? You have robots? Uh, just the one, but you killed it. Oh, dice. Excuse me. Come on, Jimmy, let's go play. Look, even the dead guy's having fun. I'm not really in the party mood, Cheech. I gotta get Cookie back. I gotta think of something big. Something huge, something so grand, there's no way she won't forgive me. Like what? I'm thinking an Xbox. Jimmy, I've been divorced six times. I think I know a thing or two about marriage. She threw you out. It's over. Time to live a little. I don't know. Look, you can wallow and mope for months, but let me tell you something. She ain't moping. She's out there, jumping up on tables, shaking her money maker, rubbing her hoo-ha all over the bar, and buying drinks for every guy who pinches her onion, all in your dime. That sounds like our wedding night. Move over! The kid is back! <gasps> what in the Queen's name is going on? Jimmy, what have you done? It's not my fault. It just sort of happened organically. Here, have a beer. That one's on you. That's it. Jimmy, Cheech, you are no longer welcome here. Everybody out. Not so fast, Mountie. Premier O'Shea. Under the laws of eminent domain, your cabin has been annexed by the great province of Saskatchewan. So saith the Premier. But, Your Honor, eminent domain can only be used in times of war. Then I declare war on your lame ass, so piss off! Thank you for hearing me out, sir. Hey, McCool! Bring back some Cheetos! Chin up in the face of adversity. There are those worse off than you. Stand tall and carry on, and enough with the sad music. Ah, Peter McDougal, the only member of the family who's never let me down. <laughs> I stand corrected. Hey, Teresa, wanna play Candyland? 
Sorry, Gina, but I stopped playing kids' games once I got tits. You sure? I changed it a little. That's pretty good. You're funny. Funny? Funny how? And I would really think hard about your answer. Don't be alarmed, Cookie. I found him with his tongue stuck to a lamppost. He has a mild concussion and he's lost his mind. Oh, Petey, why didn't you tell me you lost your mind? He'll be all right, thanks to me. All he needs is a good night's rest. Apologize. I don't know how to thank you. No need. You're going through enough yourself. I know all about you and Jimmy. He's been staying at my house, which I've been forced to leave. That selfish blob of spit. Tell me about it. I gave him a whole list of rules, but it never dawned on me that I had to add and flush. He's a pig. So, where are you staying? I'm hoping to find a dead deer and sleep inside its carcass. Is that as gross as it sounds? You have no idea. Then you have to stay here. You wouldn't be in this mess if it weren't for me. Come on in. We'll make some more mess. <laughs> that wouldn't be appropriate. I'm kidding. I insist. You'll stay here tonight where it's safe and warm. I suppose it's preferable to a dead deer carcass. All right, but on the condition that there's no hanky-panky. How about just panky? <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Is that my lipstick? Who's funny now? <gasps> Did you use my lipstick to draw a picture of some poor girl named Thursa? It's you, dumbass. Whatever. I want that lipstick back, you little squirt. One more step and the lipstick gets it. You wouldn't try me. No, no. She means it. And you have a big ass! That's it! <laughs> Give it back to me! <sighs> What's this about? She stole my lipstick! She wouldn't play with me and she called me funny so I swiped it and made a hangman game where I killed her and told her she had a fat ass so you can't blame me! You girls don't know how lucky you are to have a sibling. I was an only child, no one to play with but myself. That came out wrong. Teresa, put your things where Gina can't get them. Gina, use your artistic talent to draw happy things like rainbows and unicorns. Problem solved. That was really impressive, McCool. Jimmy would just let them fight and then make fun of the loser. They're good girls, Cookie. Not outwardly, of course. Is this better? I'll take that as friendly sarcasm, Gina. You are quite funny. on the bear? Does he s*** in the woods? Jimmy, this is such a fantastic thing for you schwa schwa to have this house and this party and the schwa schwa schwa. I don't know. I've been trying to enjoy myself, but the truth is I can't stop thinking about Cookie and what I've done. Man, no. What you do is a service for the whole community. You are a mother schwa schwa genius <laughs> to create all this and then get rid of that schwa schwa mountie. And he moves in with your wife? What? Son of a schwa! I gotta do something to win my wife back, and it's gotta be even grander than an Xbox. Somehow, I gotta get Cookie together with her sister. But how? Jimmy, I can help you. What could you do? I'm a billionaire entrepreneur, world-renowned inventor, decorated scientist, and believe it or not, I'm a heterosexual man who understands women. All right, let's get these two broads together. You know, it's a proven fact that anything we can do, they can do better. They like to hear that. Oh, little Gina. Oh, Teresa. Don't look, man. Don't look. Oh, Cookie. No wonder she wanted me to do the vacuuming. I'll get it. McCall. I'm here to see Cookie, but I want to say I'm sorry about the party and everything. Thank you, Jimmy. I hope you're not alarmed by my presence in your home, but I assure you nothing happened that would cause me to be less than proud. Uh, so does that mean you did her or you did not do her? God, no. Good. And these are for you. Why, Jimmy, your apology was valiant enough. You didn't need to buy me flowers. I didn't. We broke a vase in your living room, and I thought you'd want them. 
Now get the hell out of my house. Cookie! Didn't I tell you to f off? Because if I didn't, I'd be more than happy to tell you again. What are you smirking at? Get ready to forgive me. Over my dead cookie! Rosalie! Oh my god! It's really you! I, I never thought I'd see you again! You just disappeared! One day you, Jimmy, the kids were just gone! I can't believe you're really here! I talk to you every day in my head! That's because you've always had voices in your head, you crazy bitch! I missed you so much, you painted hoe! Jimmy, how did you make this happen? I called in a favor. Baby, I screwed up. And I had to fix it for you, cause I love you. I love you too, you big cheese ball. I love you too, you big cheese ball. I'm sorry, that was weird. Weird. Cheese ball. Weird. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It was a long flight. I'm just a little tired. 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 What's going on? Nothing. It's just the excitement of seeing my sister. 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 Oh my god! Gimme! Cookie! Hit the dirt! Oh, they didn't use the nuclear battery. Busted. What the hell is going on? That wasn't your sister. It was a robot. Look, I'm sorry, but there was no way I could get to Rosalie for real. This was the only thing I could think of to get you to stop hating me. So, would you mind going inside and tossing me my other piano and I'll be on my way? Jimmy, I never hated you, and I never could. How many men would go to the trouble of building a nuclear-powered robot sister for their wife? Six? One. And I got him. And you're never gonna lose him. <laughs> La 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 la